Conservative Parkland survivor questioned by school security after visiting gun range with father. Makes you wonder if they had have questioned David Hogg if he had gone to a gun range. Probably not. I wonder why he was questioned. Nothing to do with politics, I'm sure. Conservative Parkland shooting survivor Kyle Kreskoff, I might be mispronouncing Kyle, forgot your name wrong, dude, was questioned by school security after he visited a shooting range with his father. Kreskoff posted a video of the day at the range. One of the videos show him shooting an AR-style rifle. We do have that. We'll play that for you now. So, you know, like you said in the video, it's pretty harmless. He's just shooting a target at a range. By the way, thinking about going to a range myself and filming it for Australia. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Actually, might do a poll. I like polls lately. Polls are fun. Kreskoff paved the Second Amendment and the instructor who guided him at the range. I can't see a problem with this video at the moment, but anyway. Kreskoff's social media posts made the rounds. Upon returning to school, he quickly realised that he had drawn the eye of the security personnel, including members of the Broward County Sheriff's Office. Remember those guys that stood down when the shooting was happening? Those guys. Yeah. I, I wonder why they might be scared. They might be afraid they might have to actually do something. He told the Daily Wire that he was called out of class after the range visit and questioned by school security. I really hope you recorded this call, man. I really do. But anyway. Near the end of the third period, my teacher got a call from the office saying I need to go down and see Mr. Glenleaf. I didn't know Mr. Glenleaf, but it turned out that he was the armed school resource officer. I went down and found him and escorted me back to his office. The second security officer walked in and sat behind me. Both began questioning me intently. First they began berating my tweet, although neither of them had read it. Then began aggressively asking questions about who I went to the range with, whose guns were used, about my father, etc. They were incredibly condescending and rude. Now, I get why they might be wondering about the guns and whose guns were used, but there's no reason for them to be rude. There's no reason for them to be condescending, and they should have approached this kid with respect. That is what I'm going to say on this subject. I get why they're questioning about him using a firearm and going to the range and stuff like that, but all you had to do was simply go in and ask him, you know, hey, dude, we saw the video of you going to the range. We've had problems in the past recently. Can you tell us whose gun it was? You know, is it your gun? You know, tell us what your views are. There's no reason to berate him or be condescending or rude. And I really am disappointed for the school in that instance. The third officer from Broward County Sheriff's Office walked in and began asking me the same questions again. Too bad he wasn't there the first time they asked. At that point, I asked whether or not I record the interview. They said no. Then I would have got up and walked out. I said, if you're going to keep me here and question me, I'm going to record this interview. The fact that they don't want you to record it proves they're doing something wrong. I asked if I had done anything wrong. Again, they answered no. I was asked why I was there. Once again, don't get snappy with me. You don't remember what happened here a few months ago. He's a shooting survivor, okay? He really does remember what happened a few months ago. He lived through it. You're condescending something or other. They continued to question me, question me aggressively, although they could not cite nothing that I had done wrong. They kept calling me the pro-Second Amendment kid. Wow, this is just... This is showing the bias of the actual resource officer and of the, and of the Borough County Sheriff. Uh, th these are the guys that you are supposed to be relying on to run into a situation where there's an active shooter. And this is how they're treating a kid who has firearms training. This is telling in itself. This is actually really kind of frigging scary. Because this is how they're treating someone who isn't a shooter. This is how they're treating someone who has training and is probably going to be a very good resource to have if there is an active shooter. It's like they're afraid of guns and they're afraid of anybody that has a gun. You're going to count on that when there's an active shooter? 
I was shocked and honest, scared. I definitely felt like they were attempting to intimidate me. And they probably were, kid. You really should have recorded this, I swear. But anyway, it's all good. I was treated like a criminal for no other reason than having gone to the gun range and posted on social media about it. Yeah, th this is where you literally, if you go and do something away from the less acceptable norms, then you're you're basically going to be vilified. This is this is how far the left have gone. Whether you can't even go to a gun range now without them carrying on about it. On April 20th, Koskov countered the anti-gun school walkout with a pro-gun event focused on solutions to school security that did not infringe on the Second Amendment. Funny, never heard anything about that from mainstream media. It's weird, isn't it? He appeared as a guest on Breitbart News, which I heard about, by the way, Bullets with A.W.R. Hawkins, discussing his conviction that the Republican lawmakers must quit playing defense and... Grow the Second Amendment. I'd have to see that. I'd and I'd be interested to see that. I haven't seen it, so I'd be interested to see that debate. Look, at the end of the day, what's my takeaway from all this? Do I think this kid was pulled out and vilified because of his beliefs completely? Yes, I do. I'm sorry, but it, it just it seems like that's me. I can fully imagine this going down. They've seen this video online. They're thinking, oh my God, this is the same kid that's leading pro-gun march. He's probably got a whole stack of retweets and likes on this video and they're worried that this is going to affect their left narrative. Um, they don't want him being popular for being pro-Second Amendment. And I also think that maybe they're a little bit scared about the fact that he went to a rifle range. They're worried he was going to shoot up a school because everybody that has a gun apparently is a school shooter now. Um, you know, at the end of the day, that's honestly what they believe. And this is insane. This really, really is. Guys, I was actually thinking about going to a firing range and video recording it in Australia. Let me know if you're interested in that. And that might be something I might do when I hit a thousand subs. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Also, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in regards to Kyle. Do you think they vilified him because of his belief on the Second Amendment? Do you think that they were just worried because they had a school shooting in the past and, and they had another kid actively going to a range? You know, hey, everybody that fires a gun has got to be a school shooter, remember? Um, or do you think it was, just, it was more political and the fact that they just didn't like him because of his pro-Second Amendment? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.